getting hot outside, y'all. And if Kendrick Lamar has anything to do with it, this is gonna be a hot ass summer. Let's go. Kendrick Lamar released The Heart Part 5. This is part five of a series that he started way back in 2010, where he allows himself to just let go and speak from the heart. The Heart is his first single off the double album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, which is also his last album on Top Dog Entertainment. In this chapter of the series, which could have been titled or subtitled The Culture, Kendrick gives us his socially conscious commentary on the lifestyle, ways and actions, trials and tribulations and pitfalls of growing up in the community. But what is the culture? Check out the definition. The arts and other manifestations of human intellectual achievement regarded collectively. I think what Kendrick is trying to tell us is that the standards for our arts and our manifested intellectual achievements collectively are being lowered. His message in this song extends far past the inner city of Compton and extends to the urban community as a whole. But the video gets even deeper using deep fake technology and Kendrick takes different socially controversial personalities and speaks from that perspective. Interestingly enough, it's Matt Stone and Trey Parker from South Park that uses this technology in the video from their company called Deep Voodoo. Let you know that you can't believe anything you see on television anymore. The video is almost an exorcism of sorts, and K. Dot is exorcising the demons out of the culture. He's almost possessed to the point where he has to shake them off. He even takes on the position of a hip hop medium of sorts, where he lyrically channels the spirit of the late Nipsey Hussle and allows Nipsey to have a final voice speaking to his family, his wife, and the community as a whole. The first thing you see is I am all of us. He's saying, I am, like from the God consciousness of, I am that I am. Not only that, but his experience is shared amongst all of us. And then we go in to what is the dopest flip of Marvin Gaye's I Want You. And right away he's telling us that as I've gotten a little older, I've realized that life is perspective. Facts, facts, facts. If you take nothing else from this video, remember that life is perspective, getting altitude. When you have altitude, you're looking down on the situation instead of looking at it from the ground level. I come from a generation of pain where murder is minor. Right away, he's letting you know that in our culture, the things, the art, and the intellectual prowess of our people, we have allowed ourselves to be diminished intellectually where murder is minor. Desensitized, I vandalize pain. Covered up and camouflage, get used to hearing arsenal rain. We camouflage our pain. We vandalize the pain. We're not allowed to experience the pain. We get used to hearing gunshots in our community. That's not normal. Homies that fucked your baby mama while you hit the yard. That's expected in the community. We accept that in the culture. 23 hour lockdown is somebody caused. It always bugged me out that brothers and sisters look at getting locked up and doing a bid as something like a rites of passage. Oh, I did my bid. I mean, it's cool to survive it, but we should be excited about not doing a bid. I done seen niggas do 17, hit the halfway house, get out and have his brains blown out trying to buy some weed. The culture. The repetition over and over. The culture perpetuates the low vibration. The culture perpetuates murder and death. And all of this over Marvin Gaye's I Want You. The look of Kendrick in this video is dope because he kind of looked like a cross between Huey from the Boondocks and Jesus Christ, actually, as he was described, the woolly hair and the bronze skin. So now we go into OJ Simpson. He wipes his face and the first possession takes over and he becomes OJ. And he I says, said, I, I do this for my culture. culture. We go right into the Jay-Z line. I do this for my culture to let them know what a nigga look like. When a nigga but he's telling you, I do this for my culture to let you know how it feels to ride in a bulletproof rover. Why? Because although he's part of the culture, he's once removed from the culture as well because he's Kendrick Lamar. Then he just shifts to Kanye when he says Free friends are bipolar. bipolar, which is a double entendre, saying that Kanye is bipolar, but Kanye's friends as well are bipolar. They grab you by your pockets. You always play the offense. So we always have to be protective of ourselves in the hood, in the culture. How did we allow this culture to become us? Goes way back. It hasn't left us. Bars, man. Niggas going to work, selling work, late for work. 
praying for work, but he don't pay for work. That's the culture. Then he switches to Juicy. Every time he switches characters, he's definitely speaking from their perspective. When he switched to, to Josie Smollett, the streets got me fucked up. Y'all could miss me. I want to represent for us to try to get our message out. He had to lie. A new revolution was up and moving. I think he's talking about the marathon continuing. That's the new revolution that was up and moving. He said, I'm in Argentina wiping my tears full of confusion. Another peer's been executed. The history repeats itself over and over and over again. Triple X, Nipsey Hussle, Pop Smoke, Big, Pac, Vaughn, Dolph, Draco. I mean, when does this stop? I mean, the list is too long at this point. Make amends and find a nigga with the same skin to do it. Oh! Mal, come on, man, he telling us we won't take this information and use it to come up. You know what I mean? We got to crack a bottle because we can't feel the pain inside. We got to roll a blunt because we don't want to feel the pain. And then tomorrow it's just gone and we right back to the norm again. And a child shall lead them. That's what the Bible tell us, right? I think this young brother is 34 years old. Three and four, seven. God body looking like God, smelling like God, rapping like God. Let's go. That's the problem. Our foundation was trained to accept whatever follows. Woo! Our foundation was trained to accept whatever follows. Once they broke us and got us to accept slavery, they had us trained to accept whatever followed. Will got right on the podcast with his wife. I just wanted to feel good. And she basically broke his manhood, but he had to laugh it off, drink it off, smoke it off. We've been entrained to accept whatever follows. Dehumanize, sensitive, scrutinize the way we live for you and I. In the land where no equal is your equal. We don't have no equal. Anything you put in front of us, we dominate. In a land where hurt people hurt people. In verse 3, if you really listen, it's almost like Nipsey possessed him to a degree. Now I don't know if y'all believe in that type of thing, but I honestly do believe that when an artist is at a certain level, when they've achieved a certain level in their level of talent, that they can embody the spirit of someone, especially if they knew that person. And I feel that's what the brother did here. Some people would think that's evil. I'd call it honoring the ancestors. Now I'm not gonna go bar for bar, line for line in the third verse. I'm sure you've heard the song. But what I will say is I find it fascinating how Kendrick gives us the perspective of two super influential people, both who he knew personally, and almost penned a verse, it seemed, not only in homage to, but the bars seemed to have come or been channeled directly from the actual point of view of his man, Nipsey Hussle, almost as if he spoke directly to his man and said, hey, deliver my last words for me. From the heartfelt words to his family, to the lines where he forgives his killer but reminds him that his soul is now in question, all the way down to his tragic end where his murder was made so public just so the culture could see and possibly wake up, to the final plea to his brother Black Sam to keep striving and help remind his children of who he was. Yo, peace out. I love you guys. Like, subscribe, comment below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.